Okay, just talking about picking a sample. So we were looking at do girls at the ball in 2020 trial tend to spend more money than boys going to the ball in 2020 trial, right? Now, everybody at the school is the girls and the boys. Now, it's not really possible to ask all the boys and girls how much money you spend. So what we normally do is take a sample, which is what we've done, hopefully. So we've got all the data here. So they've somehow taken 200, but let's pretend we only had enough time to, to ask 10 people, 10 boys and girls. So we're doing this, we click sample, gender, and we go 10 boys and girls. We should already know how to do this. Um, so that's pretending we've only asked 10 boys and girls, which is what would normally happen. We don't really have much time. So we've just ended up with this. Okay, so there's my sample of 10. And then if we have a look at everybody else's sample of 10, so this is as if uh, we've got everybody in the class to go ask 10 different people in the school. We can see here's one graph here. Here's another one. The main thing really is to look at the boxes and see how they're, they're different. They're pretty different because we've only asked 10 they're pretty different but notice that even with only 10 or oh, someone's accidentally did 30 even with only 10 most of the time the girls are bigger and now you can see like maybe a more a more bigger a bigger number that's a bit more sensible that we should be able to do is is 30 maybe we could go as a group and ask one class of boys and one class of girls so we could ask 30 and if we have a look at when we've done that when we've taken a sample of 30 notice how the graphs are still different oh we don't have a box plot there the graphs are still different but they're much more similar than when we only had 10. if you have a look at where the median for the girls and the boys are well that one's a bit different but uh, most of them are pretty similar right the medians are at about the same place these boxes tend to be a little bit different but most of the time with 30 it's pretty good of course if we had heaps more time we could ask more people because the more people we ask the better our conclusion is going to be so if we took a sample of 100 boys and 100 girls you can see now almost all of these different graphs all of these different samples of 100 they're almost totally the same because we're getting closer and closer to what it would look like if we managed to ask the whole population so all the boys and girls now what we've got here is a, is a nice thing oh it's not working there now it's working is we've got a whole bunch of different samples and we've got it in a little animation here so you can see how it's changing different sizes of 30 up the top is what if what the whole population would look like and you see how it moves around and if we look here you can see the blue is showing where all the different medians are and the red is showing where the edge of the box is so you can see how much the median changes when it's 30. it's changing a bit but not too much now if we look here so n means how big the sample size is if we had 20 people you can see it's moving around a decent amount 100 people not moving much at all 500 people it's hardly hardly moving at all so the bigger our sample gets the closer it is to what it actually is so this is what the median actually is see how when we've got a really big sample it's all good okay and the same thing this one's got a sample size of 10 so the difference in where the median is with a sample size of 10 is quite large so this is where we think, well, a sample size of 10, there's too much variation. Sample size of 100 or 1,000 or 500, that would be quite hard in real life to, to get. So in between there is a, is a nice sample size, and there is a, a statistical mathematical reason why 30 is the magic number. But if we use 30, that's basically enough. Now, if we have a look at this one where we're comparing, what are we comparing? Girls and boys, uh, something, I guess it's the height. And you can see these are all the different samples if we've got a size of 30. And with all the variation, we can see pretty much most of the time, um, 
it's it's very similar right and as you can see here it's overlapping we can't make the call right so sometimes the median of the girls here is actually lower than the median of the girls here and it's because of that variation in the medians that we need to make sure that the medians are far enough apart and remember whether we can make the call or not and remember that our little rule is basically if the median if we go up if we take this median up it's outside this box we can tell that because the median 300 the top of the box is the upper quartile which is 280 so that's definitely above there this one if we take it down it's inside the box but we only need one of the medians to be outside the box to make the call so if this, if we think about that other one where the media where um the medians are moving around these are never going to move around we're not we're not going to say never almost never move around so that the boys are bigger than the girls so we can we can say for this that the girls do tend to spend money more money on the ball than than the boys that's a really basic way of saying it okay so when we're when we're taking a sample a sample size of 30 is what we're always going to want to have there